Do you want to live a better life? A life that is more peaceful, more meaningful, and more fulfilling? A life that is not ruled by your emotions, but by your reason? A life that is not plagued by your habits, but by your virtues? If you answered yes, then you might be interested in learning about Stoicism. Stoicism is a philosophy of life that has been practiced by some of the greatest minds in history, such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, and many others. Stoicism teaches us how to live well, in harmony with nature and reason. It also teaches us how to improve ourselves and our lives by eliminating the habits that are harmful, irrational, or unnecessary. In this video, we will share with you 15 habits that you should leave from your life in a silent way if you want to follow the Stoic path. These habits are not easy to break, but they are worth the effort. They will not only make you happier and more peaceful, but also more productive and successful. By the end of this video, you will have a clear and practical guide for living according to Stoicism and for achieving the ultimate goal of Stoicism, which is to live according to nature and to be happy and virtuous. Habit 1. Complaining. Complaining is one of the most common and destructive habits that we have. It is a sign of weakness, ingratitude, and lack of perspective. When we complain, we focus on the negative aspects of our situation and we magnify our problems. We also waste our time and energy and we annoy others. The Stoics taught us that we should not complain about things that are not under our control, such as the weather, the traffic, or the actions of others. Instead, we should accept them as they are and adapt to them. As Epictetus said, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen and you will go on well. We should also not complain about things that are under our control, such as our choices, our actions, or our attitudes. Instead, we should change them for the better or be content with them. As Marcus Aurelius said, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Habit two, blaming. Blaming is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of cowardice, irresponsibility, and arrogance. When we blame others for our misfortunes, we deny our own role and agency in our situation. We also avoid learning from our mistakes, and we create resentment and conflict. The Stoics taught us that we should not blame others for our problems, but rather take responsibility for our own actions and reactions. We should realize that we are the only ones who can harm ourselves by giving in to our negative emotions. As Epictetus said, it is not he who reviles or strikes you who insults you, but your opinion that these things are insulting. We should also not blame ourselves for things that are not our fault or that are beyond our control. We should forgive ourselves and move on. As Seneca said, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. Habit three, judging. Judging is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of ignorance, prejudice, and pride. When we judge others, we assume that we know better than them and that we have the right to criticize or condemn them. We also create divisions and hostility, and we neglect our own faults. The Stoics taught us that we should not judge others, but rather respect them as fellow human beings who have their own reasons and circumstances. We should also remember that we are not perfect and that we have our own flaws and weaknesses. As Marcus Aurelius said, whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I'm about to criticize? We should also not judge ourselves too harshly or too leniently. We should be honest and objective and evaluate ourselves based on our actions and intentions, not on our outcomes or opinions. As Epictetus said, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Habit four, comparing. Comparing is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of insecurity, envy, and dissatisfaction. When we compare ourselves to others, we either feel superior or inferior, depending on the criteria that we use. We also lose sight of our own values and goals and we become unhappy and restless. The Stoics taught us that we should not compare ourselves to others, but rather to ourselves. 
We should measure our progress and success based on our own standards and expectations, not on those of others. We should also appreciate what we have and not desire what we don't have. As Seneca said, he who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have. We should also not compare others to ourselves or to each other. We should recognize that everyone is unique and that everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, their own virtues and vices, their own joys and sorrows. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Habit 5. Procrastinating. Procrastinating is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of laziness, fear, and indecision. When we procrastinate, we postpone or avoid doing what we should do or what we want to do. We also waste our time and opportunities and we create stress and anxiety. The Stoics taught us that we should not procrastinate, but rather act promptly and decisively. We should do what is right and necessary, without hesitation or delay. We should also do what is meaningful and fulfilling without distraction or diversion. As Seneca said, while we are postponing, life speeds by. We should also not procrastinate on living well or on being happy. We should realize that the present moment is the only one that we have and that we should make the best of it. We should also realize that happiness is not something that we can postpone or achieve, but something that we can choose and practice. As Epictetus said, don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will. Then, your life will flow well. Habit 6. Worrying. Worrying is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of anxiety, doubt, and pessimism. When we worry, we imagine the worst possible scenarios, and we magnify the risks and difficulties. We also impair our judgment and performance and we damage our health and well-being. The Stoics taught us that we should not worry about things that are not under our control, such as the future, the past, or the opinions of others. Instead, we should focus on things that are under our control, such as our thoughts, our actions, and our attitudes. As Epictetus said, there is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. We should also not worry about things that are under our control but that are not certain or guaranteed. Instead, we should prepare for them and accept the possibility of failure or loss. We should also trust in our abilities and resources and in the providence of nature. As Seneca said, nothing happens to the wise man against his expectation. Habit 7. Regretting. Regretting is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of guilt, shame, and sorrow. When we regret, we dwell on the past, and we wish that we had done or said something differently. We also blame ourselves or others, and we create resentment and bitterness. The Stoics taught us that we should not regret the past, but rather learn from it. We should acknowledge our mistakes and failures and correct them if possible. We should also forgive ourselves and others and move on. As Seneca said, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. We should also not regret the present or the future. We should appreciate what we have and what we can do. We should also anticipate what we will have and what we will do. As Marcus Aurelius said, never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Habit 8. Escaping. Escaping is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of boredom, dissatisfaction, and addiction. When we escape, we seek refuge or pleasure in external things, such as entertainment, substances, or relationships. We also neglect our inner self and our true needs and desires. The Stoics taught us that we should not escape from ourselves, but rather face ourselves. We should examine our thoughts and feelings and understand their causes and effects. We should also cultivate our virtues and values and express them in our actions. As Seneca said, no one can live happily who has regard to himself alone and transforms everything into a question of his own utility. We should also not escape from reality but rather embrace it. We should accept the facts and the laws of nature and not wish for things to be otherwise. We should also deal with the challenges and opportunities that reality presents us and not avoid them. 
As Marcus Aurelius said, objective judgment, now, at this very moment. Unselfish action, now, at this very moment. Willing acceptance, now, at this very moment. Of all external events, that's all you need. Habit 9. Pleasing. Pleasing is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of insecurity, dependence, and flattery. When we please, we seek approval or praise from others, and we adjust our behavior or opinions to suit them. We also lose our authenticity and integrity, and we become vulnerable and manipulable. The Stoics taught us that we should not please others, but rather please ourselves. We should act according to our own conscience and reason, and not according to the expectations or demands of others. We should also value our own opinion and judgment, and not depend on the feedback or validation of others. As Epictetus said, I have to die. If it is now, well then, I die now. If later than now I will take my lunch since the hour for lunch has arrived, and dying I will tend to later. We should also not please ourselves, but rather challenge ourselves. We should not indulge in our passions or whims, but rather discipline ourselves and follow our principles. We should also not seek comfort or convenience, but rather hardship and growth. As Seneca said, it is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. Habit 10. Controlling. Controlling is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of impatience, frustration, and anger. When we control, we try to impose our will or influence on others or on things that are not under our control. We also create resistance and conflict and we harm ourselves and others. The Stoics taught us that we should not control others, but rather respect them. We should recognize that everyone has their own free will and rationality, and that we cannot force them to do or think what we want. We should also cooperate and collaborate with others, and not compete or dominate them. As Marcus Aurelius said, we were born to work together like feet, hands, and eyes, like the two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him, these are unnatural. We should also not control things that are not under our control, but rather let them be. We should realize that there are many factors and forces that affect the outcome of events, and that we cannot predict or manipulate them. We should also detach ourselves. Habit 11. Dwelling. Dwelling is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of attachment, nostalgia, and regret. When we dwell, we cling to the past, and we relive or replay our memories or experiences. We also miss the present, and we hinder our future. The Stoics taught us that we should not dwell on the past but rather learn from it. We should use our past as a source of wisdom and guidance, and not as a source of pain or pleasure. We should also be grateful for our past and not resentful or remorseful. As Seneca said, the whole future lies in uncertainty, live immediately. We should also not dwell on the present, but rather, live it. We should be mindful and aware of our thoughts and actions, and not be distracted or absent. We should also enjoy and appreciate the present, and not take it for granted or waste it. As Marcus Aurelius said, do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Habit 12. Fantasizing. Fantasizing is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of dissatisfaction, desire, and delusion. When we fantasize, we imagine or create scenarios or situations that are not real and that we wish or fear to happen. We also lose touch with reality and we create false expectations and disappointments. The Stoics taught us that we should not fantasize about the future, but rather plan for it. We should use our reason and imagination to foresee and prepare for the possible outcomes and consequences of our actions, and not to indulge in our hopes or fears. We should also be flexible and adaptable, and not be rigid or attached to our plans. As Seneca said, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. We should also not fantasize about the present, but rather see it as it is. We should perceive and judge things based on the evidence and the facts, and not on our assumptions or opinions. We should also be realistic and objective, and not be naive or biased. As Epictetus said, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. Habit 13. 
rationalizing. Rationalizing is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of dishonesty, self-deception, and justification. When we rationalize, we invent or distort reasons or explanations for our actions or beliefs to make them seem more acceptable or reasonable. We also avoid facing the truth and we harm our credibility and integrity. The Stoics taught us that we should not rationalize our actions, but rather admit them. We should acknowledge and own our choices and decisions and not blame or excuse them. We should also be accountable and responsible and not evade or deny them. As Marcus Aurelius said, if it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. We should also not rationalize our beliefs, but rather question them. We should examine and test our opinions and assumptions and not accept or defend them. We should also be open and curious and not be dogmatic or stubborn. As Epictetus said, don't just say you have read books. Show that through them you have learned to think better, to be a more discriminating and reflective person. Habit 14. Complaining. Complaining is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of weakness, ingratitude, and lack of perspective. When we complain, we focus on the negative aspects of our situation and we magnify our problems. We also waste our time and energy and we annoy others. The Stoics taught us that we should not complain about things that are not under our control, such as the weather, the traffic, or the actions of others. Instead, we should accept them as they are and adapt to them. As Epictetus said, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen, and you will go on well. We should also not complain about things that are under our control, such as our choices, our actions, or our attitudes. Instead, we should change them for the better, or be content with them. As Marcus Aurelius said, If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Habit 15. Resisting. Resisting is another habit that we should leave from our life. It is a sign of fear, aversion, and suffering. When we resist, we oppose or fight against something that we perceive as negative or harmful and that we want to avoid or eliminate. We also create tension and conflict, and we amplify our pain and distress. The Stoics taught us that we should not resist what is inevitable, such as death, change, or loss. Instead, we should embrace them as natural and necessary, and not fear or mourn them. As Seneca said, death is a release from and an end of all pains. Beyond it, our sufferings cannot extend. It restores us to the peaceful rest in which we lay before we were born. We should also not resist what is beneficial, such as growth, challenge, or feedback. Instead, we should welcome them as opportunities and gifts and not avoid or reject them. As Epictetus said, difficulties are things that show a person what they are. In conclusion, Stoicism is a philosophy of life that can help us live well, in harmony with nature and reason. It can also help us improve ourselves and our lives by eliminating the habits that are harmful, irrational, or unnecessary. By leaving these 15 habits from our life in a silent way, we can free ourselves from the tyranny of our passions and cultivate a calm and rational mind. We can also achieve the ultimate goal of Stoicism, which is to live according to nature and to be happy and virtuous. As Seneca said, the point is not how long you live, but how nobly you live.